Hey everyone, so I'll be showing you how to sculpt in Blender. By the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to work on your own projects. So to start, you'll want to load up your Blender application and then just left click out of this window. Now to get started, we'll delete what we have here. So press A to select everything. It'll be highlighted orange and that's how you know it's selected. Then press delete. Now it's gone, press shift A. You'll be making sure you're holding both keys. Hover over mesh, go to plane, press S to scale, then type in 10. Now go over here to the resize. Actually, no, don't worry about that. Then click tab, then right click, then click subdivide. Now we're gonna go over here. Number of cuts, type in 30. Press tab again to go out of edit mode. Go to the top right here, it says sculpting. Right here, we're going to go to symmetry. Turn off mirror on the x-axis. If it is on, you can see it mirrors on both sides. And I don't want that, it's up to you. So next, I'm going to go and select, and these are where all the different tools are. So clay, clay strips, things like that. And I can draw on the plane. Now, as you can see, it's not that powerful, and you can change it on the right by changing the radius, or you can also change the strength as well. And so you can change these two to edit the power and then the brush size as well. Um, there are these different settings you can play around with, but those are the main two, the radius and then the strength right here. Now, as you can see, there are some cubes. Now, if I want it to be smoother, I'd go back into edit mode by pressing tab, right click, click subdivide. I could, the more I click subdivide, the smoother it'll be, but eventually your computer will start to run slower and slower. So you have to keep track of how many subdivisions you're actually doing. So I think this is a good amount. I'm just going to resize a little bit so I can kind of create this landscape. I'll just draw everywhere. Next, that's the clay, so I'll just drag this tool to drag up different parts. This is called the grab tool, by the way. Um, and I'm just going to create some mountains. You can see it kind of looks cartoony. And as you can see, I have my scene. And when you do do this, uh, make sure to left click to drag up. I'll go back. And now let's say I go back to layout. I can right click, then click shade smooth. And you want to make sure it's left selected. You know it's left selected by left clicking and it highlights orange. And now that I shade, uh, shaded it smooth, you can see it smooths out all those cubes that we saw before. So, really nice look. This is how you sculpt in Blender. Um, you can use it for all different kinds of projects. I use it for landscapes, but a lot of people sculpt all kinds of crazy characters out of it. I highly recommend using this tool, and it has all kinds of functions you can use it for. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want to see more content, you can like and subscribe and feel free to ask questions below or join my Discord. I'll see you soon.